Don't click off this video. For while you may have never experienced a murder yourself, you are about to hear a tale of the next closest thing to the next closest thing to the next closest thing to murder. No, 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 no. And not only did I see it, but it happened to me. An unwanted, obsessive, stalker-like crush. <laughs> You're next, <laughs> Mr. Clark. Back in college, there was this girl that had a short-lived crush on me. Now, in the spirit of Halloween, my friends and I thought it would be fun to tell you the story as if she actually tried to murder me. What's important to know is everything you're about to hear is 100% true. Except... She didn't try to kill me. Are you crazy? <laughs> Why would I? <laughs> Why would I make that video? She's actually a great person. And uh, if you're watching, she's married now. She's got great kids. I'm glad we're friends. Okay, but she tried to kill me. So this unwanted crush, we nicknamed her Pumpkin Girl. You're about to find out why. And it all started with a murder. We're live at the scene of the crime where the pumpkin girl has taken the life of another man that didn't like her in return. And we're worried about who she'll take next. Some would say she's just looking for a date. But according to our leading expert on blowing things out of proportion, Shane Dawson, this is definitely a murder. Started out harmless. If I don't leave my room, how's she gonna find me? But we had this class together and she'd always eye me in there. We had this like school dance thing coming up and I was just like, oh, she's gonna ask me. I'm gonna stay in my room. Dude, I think we should leave town. As long as we stay in here, we're safe. I'm not so sure about that. Will you be my date to the dance, Alex? I burn for your embrace. And the advances kept getting worse. Come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> I couldn't even hide in my room. Where are you? I will find you, Alex Clark. And you will love me eternally. <laughs> Thankfully, my friends had convinced me to take a three-hour train ride to visit my parents. So you're hoping she finds someone else to bring to the dance, and then she leaves you alone. Exactly. Well, I know what would make you feel better. I made some frites. Would you stop putting parsley on foods and pretending it's fancy? They're clearly french fries. Why do we need a second job to put parsley on them? Oh, stop it, Mom. They're delicious. Thank you. You do whatever you need to do to feel safe. You know, as long as we're here, we're fine. Who is it? Um... I was hanging out with my sister, telling her about this story, and she ended up telling me another story that had to do with pumpkins. So we all know that last year I raised the most money for the art program by selling the most pumpkins at the fall festival. <laughs> it was a county record, no big deal. So this year, I've decided to grow my own pumpkins organically. Not only am I going to smash my old record, but I'm going to save the planet as well. <laughs> Thank you. If you're keeping up, I'm trying to tell two stories in one video, cause well, they're both about pumpkins and I liked my sister's story. And by the way, my sister was really inspired by that girl. That girl makes me sick. I want to punch her organically. I have a better idea. Let's take her down. We'll embarrass her in front of the entire fall festival. We only need one thing. I... was in the clear. It wasn't Pumpkin Girl. I was wrong. So y'all know I'm going on tour soon. 20 cities across America in early 2019. Tickets on sale in November. And back when I was in college, I'd get hired out to do these little shows at other colleges like homecomings and stuff. And this phone call was a last minute gig that weekend in, get this, Erie, Pennsylvania. You can look it up. It's right next to Canada. Hang up the phone. There's a murderer out there. You stay in here where it's safe. For God's sakes, woman, would you let him make some money? Maybe he could pitch in around here, pay for some of that parsley. 
I turned down the gig at first because I wanted to hide out. But some people don't stop calling. You know what? I'll do the gig. My parents need the money. You think you're pretty clever. <gasps> it's her. We have a destiny, Alex, and you can't run from it. Did you know my Aunt Hilda lives right near your parents? <laughs> I decided to pay her a visit down at the regional hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Would, Would you, you like, like to come? come? Huh. Regional hospital? That's down where that dryer's boy just died. If she drove three hours here to find you, you could be next. Take the keys, get out of town, take that gig. And Sean, don't forget, take out the trash. Really starting to seem like nowhere was safe. Hey, your dad said to make sure we're back by Sunday at 3 a.m. so your sister can deliver the papers. Why would my sister do that? Also, why do you have a pumpkin? Um... It's hard to explain. Two hours earlier. Mm. Those were some salty frites. Does this pumpkin feel hot to you? Hmm. Feels normal. By now you will have realized the pumpkin is a normal temperature. But your fingerprints are all over it. <gasps> this pumpkin represents a significant crime, and you must get rid of it, or else you will be framed. Take it far, far away. <sighs> so six hours later, we're in the car, and I look back at the pumpkin to see Zack doing this. Yeah. And this is where the name Pumpkin Girl came from. Legend has it, the first pumpkin girl carved her boyfriend's face into a pumpkin. She worked day and night until it looked just like him. And when she delivered her gift, he hated it. He started calling her Pumpkin Girl. So in this legend we formulated in the backseat of our van, she was so devastated that she attacked him with the very same knife she used to carve the pumpkin. And as she shed tears over her former love, the pumpkin transformed before her eyes, and a spell was cast on her soul, trapping it in the pumpkin forever. Some say it was the work of the dying boy, protecting us from pumpkin girls. He mostly did it to scare me, but then he said, Whenever a pumpkin girl lurks, a carving of her face shall protect you. Eerie. I know, right? No, eerie. We're here. Pumpkin girl, did she find us? Did she live to kill another? And what was my sister up to? Before I tell you about that, I have to give a massive thank you to the sponsor of today's video, expressvpn.com slash Clark. VPNs hide your IP address and encrypt your data so no one can see what you're doing online. I mean, it won't protect you from like Pumpkin Girl, but uh, it'll protect you from some scary internet stuff, hackers. Project Zorgo. VPNs, they protect your stuff. If you ever go on public Wi-Fi and worry that someone's after your information, folks that are smarter than me made VPNs to stop that. With a VPN, them hackers stop getting your stuff. And they want your stuff. A sneaky side benefit is it gets you access to content that's blocked in your country. So like Verve, Netflix, Hulu. If you ever tried to watch something and it's country blocked, with a VPN, not blocked. So um, if you want to do it, click the link. Just find out what VPNs are all about and why you might want to use one to protect your stuff. And literally, just thank you. Supporting our sponsors is a big reason we're able to have such high quality videos. Clicking that link, checking out their three months free bonus, just like, you have no idea how much it helps. So that's the ad, thanks for listening, and I hope the sponsors we choose end up helping you. Now as for Pumpkin Girl, I know you have a lot of questions, and they will all be answered. When we post the epic conclusion, on October 31st at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time.